Let me show you everything you need to know about V0 as fast as possible. I'll show you how to code out an entire front end, and then I'll show you how to take that code, put it in a cursor project, and deploy it as a web application. So let's go ahead and learn everything we need to know about V0. Let's jump in. There's been a lot of hype around Cursor AI, V0, Replit, all these different platforms. So I'm creating this video just to give you a real quick rundown of what's possible on this platform. So let's go to begin here. All you need to do to start with V0 here is obviously create an account, sign up. Once you're logged into the dashboard here, we're gonna have obviously our chats here from past conversations. Therefore, let's start a new chat. I'm gonna create that SaaS onboarding form that you saw earlier in this video. We're gonna go ahead and put, generate a multi-step wizard to collect information on users when onboarding a SaaS product. From here, all we need to do is hit enter. And then the UI is structured where we have a chat-like conversation with the artificial intelligence, and then our code files and previews will be to the right over here. First impressions of this platform. This seems like a good platform, kind of like what we saw with Replit in the sense of making sandbox type of UIs or MVPs of products. While generating the code, we can actually scroll down here and see the code coming out live, which is pretty cool. Once it's done, we are able to actually preview it. But one step back from this is that this isn't actually in a local host environment, e.g. running on our laptop locally. If you don't know what that means, that basically means right now, in order for us to preview this, we need an internet connection and we need to be connected to their servers. A local host environment allows us to connect and deploy applications and visually see how they interact with the code with no Wi-Fi completely on our machine or laptop, desktop, etc. Once we get it fully outputted, we have a couple options. First one, ask a follow-up. We can add more additional stuff to our underlying code here. Second one, we can actually favorite chats. So maybe you got a really good chat. You want to continue conversating on another day. You can hit favorite here. We can even go as far as actually renaming the chat and be like, new software. New software is here. Save. To see the original file that was coded, you can simply hit to the right here and then we can scroll down here and see everything that was just coded from that prompt. Coming up here, we have a couple other options here. We can either fork it. We can share it if we choose to do so as a public link. But probably the most important one out of all these options you see here is our ability to add to our code base. This is gonna be our ability to add this entire project to Cursor AI and do further development if we choose to do so. Before we do that though, let's check out what we have. This is why I say this is good for like sandboxing or understanding different UI elements you would possibly wanna develop in an artificial intelligence context. This all works, so full name, email, next. It works in the sense of UI. And what I mean by that is right now, none of this is connected to a backend. This is purely just for like the user experience if we were to go through a onboarding form for a software as I'm clicking through right now. So this UI looks good, but it's not connected to a backend. So make sure to subscribe here as I'll probably do another video in the future showing you how to actually take data like this. And when you hit finish, it actually does something and stores it. But for now though, let me show you how to deploy this in a cursor application so you keep messing around. To do so, go ahead and click this add code base. Copy this. Coming over to Cursor AI, come down here to the bottom left, then hit Terminal. Now in Terminal, we're gonna go ahead and set up a project, and then within that project, we're gonna go ahead and push that line of code. As a side note, if you want a full 30 minute video that shows you with Cursor AI and how to actually deploy to a live website link, e.g. like apples.com, rather than localhost 3000, check out the description down below. Check out that video right there. I'll show you how in 30 minutes. For now though, let's create this project. MKDIR, give a project name. We'll say VO good. Once we do that, I'm gonna hit CD, VO, good. This is gonna put us in the directory of where this folder is located. Well, what we can do here is we can simply hit open a folder. With open a folder, go ahead and select the folder we just created, VO, good, okay, in our project. Let's go ahead and open up our terminal again here, and we're gonna put in that line that we just copied, e.g. this line. Add a code base, copy, paste, hit, enter. Now, since I've already installed a dependency here, you're gonna notice a little like notification, like, do you wanna install XYZ? Just simply put Y, hit enter, and it's gonna install the dependencies required for everything you're about to see from here. So I'm gonna come up here and let's do this terminal. For the first prompt here, would you like to start a new Node.js project? We're gonna hit Y. We're gonna give a app name here. So what is the way we're gonna reference it later on in the code? We got my app here. We can say uh, my new V, enter. Now it's gonna start deploying and creating our relevant files needed to deploy this later on as a localhost 3000. This is grabbing the code that we created here in V0. We can choose different styles. For now, I'm gonna hit New York, base colors, neutral. This is all arrow keys up and down. Would you like to use CS variables for theming? Yes. So once we get all that, we have successfully created our app and grabbed the code that we saw earlier. Let me go ahead and prove that to you though. Scrolling up here, if we come up here, we can see onboarding data, name, email, company size, role, interest. To find that relevant code, we're gonna go to app here, components, UI, and then you'll see it is found right here name, email, company size, role, interest. 
Now let me show you the command that's going to deploy this to localhost 3000. And as another side note, and the reason I keep doing side notes, y'all, is because this is a lot to take in if you're a beginner. Like you're looking at all this code and you're just like, what the heck's going on? If you want a full three hour free course that's on YouTube, it's free. Check out the description down below again, three hours long. I'll show you how to do from zero lines to code to however many deploying an actual front end for an actual website coding with AI. Now let's deploy this. To deploy this, we're gonna have to hit the correct folder. So we just created that app. So we're gonna do CD again. And then our app's name is the one all the way up here, right under VO good. It's gonna be my dash new V. Once we're here, this is where we're gonna do a simple line. If you're familiar with React, it's typically NPM build. In the context of Node.js here, we're just gonna do NPM run dev, hit enter. And this is gonna launch in localhost 3000. Once you see the message of ready, we're gonna go ahead and just copy this URL or simply click it. And there we go. We successfully deployed to localhost 3000, which now allows us to instantly reflect new changes in this environment. And obviously we can click through this, add some stuff, go through the actual flow. But what I mean by like actually doing live changes we scroll down here to our file here. Let's say we want to change full name instantly and just get a reflection. That's the beauty of localhost 3000. So right now it says full name here. I can simply say full name, please. Command save. And then it reflects like that. There you go. Now you know how to successfully take VO code and push it to a cursor AI project to get going on deployment and proceed in whatever application or web app you plan on making. Make sure you leave a like. It's completely free. And check out this channel as if any of that didn't make sense or this was too fast or you're like, why is there for beginners in the title? This is definitely not for beginners. And check out my other stuff on this channel. I have to make longer videos for that. 30 minutes, Google Doc resources, chat GPT chats that are lasered in just to help you for that specific tutorial. Trust me. We got going here. I'll see you in the next video. It's V0. Zero, zero, zero. Those are two random videos. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.